Hey there, welcome to Tune Up Tuesday. Today we're going to be looking at your wrists and wrists for kind of a couple of things here. So the first thing with why would you bother to do a strengthening exercise for your wrist is for exercises if you're doing workouts that involve things like push-ups, right, where you're using and straining your wrists a little bit. Um, and especially in Pilates, as you get into the advanced exercises, there are a lot of exercises where you're in kind of a push-up-like or a plank-like position, right? You're in more of suspension, holding your body up from your hands and your feet. And so as you get into doing more and more exercises where the weight is on your wrists, um, it, can, it can cause more strain. So it's good to have an exercise to nurture your wrists and to strengthen them specifically. The other great thing, as I'm talking, if you have something like a bar like this, you can grab it. Um, the other thing to really think about, and I'm noticing this more and more, um, is that you're, we're spending a lot of time on computers. We all, we've all heard of carpal tunnel syndrome on your keyboard, your mouse. Um, and then also your smartphone. If you think like I've always got my pop socket between my fingers and we're scrolling around with our thumbs. So just our our wrists and our hands are not getting the same level of um, just sort of human activity, animal-like activity that they're used to getting. So this is a cool exercise. Um, grab something like a bar you could use, like a broom handle you could use. I've seen people use vacuum hoses as long as it's kind of narrow, um, those little skinny rolling pins, whatever you have, right? The muscle roller outer, grab something if you've got it. And if not, you can just pretend. You can do the exercise without, it's just great to have the feedback of something firm. So here we go. This is the sandbag exercise. If you've been at a gym or a Pilates studio where they have like the dowel, and you can just imagine this, there'd be a rope tied around the center of the dowel that hangs down and holds a little sandbag, okay? The point of the exercise is that you're going to roll that sandbag all the way up to the top. And when you get to the top, you're gonna to roll the sandbag all the way down. So you're gonna do that kind of in your imagination. So stand up, heels together, toes apart, so you have a nice solid base. Hold yourself up nice and tall, okay? So you wanna be kind of active, your core is engaged, you're lifting up with good posture. That part's important so you have a good foundation. Your arms are gonna stretch out in front of you. I've got long fingers and I'm aware of my placement of the hand on the bar. So I'm sensing the bar with my pointer fingers, palm, <laughs> and my pinky fingers, palm. So starting to come aware of the alignment of my wrists and I've got long fingers. So you're gonna hold the bar up at the height of your shoulders. And then remember, we're rolling up the rope. So you're gonna to start to rotate in one direction. And I'm kind of going full range of motion. So wrist underneath and wrist all the way on top. And then I'm gonna rotate, and again, full range of motion of my wrists with nice solid pressure of my palms on the bar. So you're going just one direction now, imagining that you're slowly lifting that little weighted sandbag and just letting each wrist have a good controlled range of motion. It's not fast and, you know, darty. <laughs> it's nice and slow and controlled. And then if you'll notice, I'm keeping the bar level. So you wanna keep your bar nice and steady in one spot at the same height as your shoulders. One wrist going under, one wrist going over. And then switch. And you'll do this, you'll feel it in your arms, you'll feel it in your shoulders. You're gonna feel a lot of muscles working. And you're just kind of going for that nice controlled movement. So we're gonna go a few more times until maybe we imagine that that sandbag has come all the way up to the top. And just keep kind of checking in. I'm getting nice, see I'm kind of pushing this wrist forward, don't do anything that hurts, right? Keep it within a range of motion that's safe for you. But we're using kind of that whole palm and then go ahead and reverse, which way is the other way, there we go. <laughs> so now we're bringing the sandbag back down towards the floor, right? And again, it's not about just getting to this point and just getting to that point quickly, the whole movement of the wrist is where we're looking to build in strength, 
Okay. And just notice the alignment of your wrist. You don't want your fingers like turned in or out. You want them kind of just nice alignment. Notice if you're sagging down, notice if your elbows are bending, it's straight arms and going for that full range of motion. And then just double check your posture. You still want your core engaged, you're lifting yourself up tall. And you can see kind of my fingers are pointing to the ceiling and to the floor, to the ceiling and to the floor, right? And keep going, you'll feel your shoulders, your arms. It's a good, it's a great workout for your whole kind of arms and shoulders, but really specifically targets your wrists. And I love this because it's very stabilizing. Um, it's a very simple movement, but if you do this every day, um, take a notice at how it affects your push-ups, your planks, your ability to hold yourself up. Um, and you might also start looking at just the awareness of um, holding your smartphone you know if you if you're doing a lot of scrolling maybe you take a break and you do this or you take a break and you spread your fingers just start to notice what your hands and your wrists are doing throughout the day and start to give them a little more love um, I've especially noticed you know in exercises like the push-up the placement of your hand makes such a difference in the amount of benefit that you can get out of doing the push-up. I've been, I have a wrist injury right now and I'm having to modify. And I just, the push-ups aren't as yummy. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm able to push myself as far with trying to baby a wrist and keep it straight and hold on to a weight and the whole modification thing. So um, it's definitely worth your time to strengthen your wrists to kind of take a look at that. And um, if, it's some, if you have something like that going on, it might be a different part of your body, but if you'd like to bounce it off somebody and see how can I get more out of my workouts, how can I safely exercise and build strength, even though I have this little thing going on, um, set up a time to talk to me. The, I don't think there's a link in my bio yet, but um, just direct message me, reach out to me and we can set a time to talk. Um, I'm still teaching two Pilates classes a week and a strength training class every week, slow strength. Uh, on my personal website. So you can see those classes and that schedule on my website. Um, but I'm happy to schedule a session with you if you're thinking about getting back into a workout routine or finding something that works virtually for you. Um, those classes are on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And yeah, I always love kind of, you know, one of my favorite puzzles is when my clients have a thing come up or they come to me with uh, an injury or some part of their body that has to have physical therapy or had to go through something and it's like okay well cool how do that happens so that's part of life so how do we keep your body moving and keep strengthening the other parts so that all of that can feel really good so hopefully you enjoyed the sandbag exercise try it let me know how it feels um, let me know how your wrists feel my wrists feel more solid just after doing that for a couple minutes so enjoy that um, share this with your friends leave me a comment let me know how it felt for you and we'll be back next week on Tune Up Tuesdays.